how to draw a mouth. Make sure you have a photo reference and then look in the mouth and see how there's kind of a circle here, circle here, circle here. So start by drawing uh, some circles. Do the bottom ones first, two on the bottom. Most of the time they touch, sometimes they might be spread out a little bit more. The top one is usually a bit smaller. Once you have that, then you can easily draw the line between the two lips. It's going to curve down in the middle, up a little bit, and then it's going to curve down a little bit before it gets to the sides. All right, and then mark where the corners of the mouth are, or the lips. Uh, that's usually the darkest place in the mouth. So just put a little dark spot there. Draw the top lip. Uh, there's often a space between the corner and the end of the lip. And draw over until you get to about the circle. And then the circle, you're just going to cut part of the circle off. In some people, this cur down curve part is wide. In other people, it's narrow. Just look at your photo reference and let that be your guide. Now, on this part, uh, in this person, it seems like the lip is kind of straight or even like a little curved up right there. But that can vary from people to people as well. So there's my basic lip. I'm just going to erase uh, the circles. Uh, it's okay if you can still see them. Correct a few things. All right, now I'm going to shade in the top lip. Uh, just shade it in. Uh, and notice in the picture, the top lip is darker than the bottom lip. And that's because the light is coming from above. It looks like the light, judging by the lightest spot, spot here and here, uh, the light's coming from up here somewhere. That's the sun. You don't draw that in your picture, but just to show you where the light's coming from. Uh, so, and the top lip kind of faces down just a little bit on most people. So because of that, it tends to be uh, darker than the bottom lip. The bottom lip sticks out and catches the light a little more. So there's the top lip. I'm just going to shade in the bottom lip really light. Lighter than the top lip. And uh, now I'll come back with a 4B pencil to make the darkest spots. I'm just going to show you real quickly how to use um, like, if you were in class, I'd give you one of these. It's called a tortillon, and this is just for kind of blending things. Uh, but most of you are at home, and so if you just have one of these at home, it's just called a Q-tip or a uh, cotton squab. Cotton swab. Uh, but this is pretty good, too. Uh, for a large area, and you might need this later in the project, but you can also wrap a tissue around your finger or just use your finger. Uh, but anyway, these are good because they can get in little small spaces. And you can see how softly they blend things. Uh, now I'm just going to erase this line. This line's a little harsh. You don't really see uh, big old outlines around things in the face. We've talked about this especially in um, noses. So I'm just going to soften that line. Now, I can clearly see some lighter areas in this mouth. Uh, for example, right here, right there, uh, there's some light hitting that lip because the light's coming from that direction. And I'm just going to lightly use my pencil eraser almost like it's white, a white pencil, and get some of those little um, light areas back. Uh, if it seems harsh, you could just go around the edges. Don't go over the whole highlight because then you have to erase again. Uh, sometimes using a Q-tip or a tissue, it just moves all it moves all the graphite around, and it, everything gets like gray. 
you really need lights and darks in this. Okay, so I'm using my 4B pencil. You could use your regular pencil, just press a little harder. But you can see uh, the line between the lips is pretty dark. And there's even a little shadow just right here where the top lip is just sticking out over the bottom lip a little bit. Just going to soften that a bit. And I think um, when I blended with the with the Q-tip, this got a little light, so I'm just going to make this a little dark again. Just a little darker. But start to look at people, and you'll see that in normal lighting conditions, uh, the top lip is a little darker. Um, and I'm going to just finish up with a little, uh, make these areas a little darker. Um, this is usually the darkest part of the mouth. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little shading. I'm going to use my regular pencil because I don't want this too dark. But in most people, there's a little shadow right here, again, where the bottom lip now is sticking out over the, uh, the chin. And so there's a little, little shadow there. And you want these to fade out on the edges. And in fact, on her, it goes a little bit like that. All right, so there's a mouth. Um, that's a girl. And uh, here's a picture of a guy. And here's a drawing of his mouth. Now, she has very full lips. His lips, especially the top one, is much thinner. So you have to look at your reference. Um, and you can see how I drew the three circles I, and used kind of flattened circles a little bit and uh, how much of the top circle got cut off uh, because his top lip is so thin. So use your reference. These are basic rules of lips, but you have to make it look like your reference photo.